In this video, I will test the Banker Fund Flow Trend Oscillator strategy created by Stock Accurate to find out whether we should use it in our trading. I'm gonna backtest it 100 times on the price of Apple on a 15 minute time frame, and as always, give you some valuable tips on how to increase its win rate even more at the end of this video. I use Trader Edge for backtesting strategies. In my opinion, this is the best backtester out there. Thousands of traders around the world are using Trader Edge to get an edge in their competition. Trader Edge is three times faster than a traditional backtesting method. All you need to do is to set your initial account size and the profit and loss per trade. Trader Edge will give you all the info you need about the strategy, such as the win ratio, the profit and loss, the maximal drawdown, and much more. Once you finish the backtesting, you can save the results to the strategy library. Besides their quick and easy backtester, they've also got some other useful features on their website, such as the position size calculator, which can be really handy for those who trade Forex and commodities, the profit and loss calendar, where you can track your trading performance and make some important notes, and the indicators and strategies menu. Here you can find and download some super accurate tools for MT4 and TradingView platforms, and they've all been proven to work. If you're not entirely sure how to backtest, no worries, you will get a full step-by-step -step backtesting plan which has $100 value. If you're not sure how to build a profitable trading strategy, no problem. You will also get a full course on how to build a profitable mechanical trading strategy which has $270 value. And if you sign up right now, they'll also include 4 pre-made high-quality strategies that have $100 value. So that's around $500 worth of bonuses, all for free, but only if you sign up right now. Trader Edge has a 7-day free trial, so there is absolutely no risk at all. So go ahead and check it out, I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, so this strategy consists of two free trading view indicators and now let's go ahead and add them to the chart. For the first indicator, let's search for buy and sell backtest EMA single cross. It's going to be this indicator right here. Now let's access its settings and in the star section, let's get rid of the trades on chart. Then we need to head over to the inputs and change the EMA length. The EMA1 is going to be set at 21. The EMA2 is going to be set at 34. And for the second indicator, let's apply the Bank of Fund Flow Trend Oscillator. This indicator by BlackCat1402. Let's also open its settings and untick the plot candle. Okay, the setup is complete, now let's understand the entry rules. So, a signal to go long is valid when the following conditions are met. First, the EMA buy and sell must print a new buy signal. Second, at a time we have a signal, the candlestick must be bullish. Third, the banker fund flow indicator must be green. And the bar needs to cross above the 80 level. Once the following conditions are met, a buy order will be placed at the close of the trigger candlestick. The stop loss will be set at the EMA lines. The take profit target for the strategy will be set at one and a half times the risk. Okay, let me give you one more example. So here we see the EMAs crossed each other and a buy signal was issued. The candlestick opposite to the buy signal was bullish. The bank of fund flow was green and it crossed above the 80 level. If one of the conditions is not met at the time the EMAs issue a buy signal, we simply skip the trade. In this example, the Bank of Fund Flow indicator had not reached the 80 level by the time the buy signal was issued. The rules for entering a sell position are exactly opposite. First, the EMA indicator must print a new sell label. Second, the market must form a bearish candlestick at the time the signal was issued. And third, the Bank of Fund Flow indicator must be red and it needs to cross below the 20 level. The stop loss will be set at the EMA lines. The take profit target will stay at one and a half times the risk. Here's one more example for a sell entry. We see at a time the EMAs issued a sell signal, all the conditions were met. We see this strategy is really straightforward, nothing complicated at all. But from my experience, I can tell that the less rules the strategy has in place, the lower the success rate is going to be. If we take a look at these two buy and sell signals, we can see the problem behind the strategy. Even though all the conditions were met, the trades didn't turn out to be profitable.
and this is because this strategy is not designed for a range in market. Normally, a good strategy would spot the range in market and avoid the trade entries during this time. Anyway, let's proceed to the backtesting to find all the metrics behind the strategy we need. So, after testing this strategy for 100 times, the win ratio turned out to be 50%. I found those 100 setups within 2 years, so this profit and loss is pretty much nothing. The profit factor is 1.5 and we had 7 consecutive wins against 5 consecutive losses. The maximum drawdown for the strategy is 15.84%. The equity curve isn't looking that bad, but still, the strategy barely makes any money. Despite its simplicity, I would definitely not recommend it to beginners, because usually if the strategy gives you 5 losses in a row at the very beginning, you would simply start losing hope and eventually give up on the strategy altogether. Ok, so how do we actually maximize the potential of the strategy? First, I would recommend switching the time frame from 15 to 5 minutes. This way you will get more trade entries. The next step will be to get rid of this EMA buy and sell indicator, and add another two indicators to the chart. For the first indicator, let's apply the STD filtered and Paul Gaston filter by LOX. This is a very simple buy and sell indicator that in my opinion works much better. And for the second indicator, let's search for support and resistance levels with breaks. We're going to be using these indicators in a very unique and smart way. Now let me show you the exact rules for entering long and short trades. So the rules for entering a sell position are as follows. First, the price action must break below the most recent level of support. The level of support is coloured in blue. And all we need to do is to wait for the candlestick to cross and close below it. Second, the STD indicator must issue a new sell signal. And third, the banker flow indicator must be red and it needs to cross below the 20 level. The stop loss for the strategy will be set slightly above the STD line. The take profit target will stay the same at 1.5 times the risk. Ok, now let's learn the long positions. So first, the price action must break above the most recent level of resistance. The level of resistance is coloured in red. Second, the STD indicator must issue a new long signal. And at the time we have a signal, the banker flow indicator must be green and it needs to cross above the 80 level. The stop loss will be placed slightly below the STD line. The take profit target will be set at 1.5 times the risk. In my opinion, this strategy is much better because it filters out all the signals issued during the range in market. I 100% recommend it. Go ahead and backtest it and forward test it on different markets and different timeframes as well. Ok traders, thanks for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. By the way, if you want to learn my best strategy on the channel, check out this video right here.